A devastated young boy couldn't imagine living without his mother, crying at her grave, then he suddenly felt the woman's hand on his shoulder startling him. Kevin was only six years old when his mother died in an accident. Since then, he has lived in an orphanage, as he never met his dad and had no other family members willing to take him in. The young boy didn't like living in the orphanage. He constantly daydream about his mother one day taking him away from there to live with her again. The other children would mock him, teasing him that his mother was dead and that he'd never see her again. You need to face the truth, Kevin. Your mother is no longer alive, and you'll never see her again. Stop being a baby, one of his roommates would say. Kevin would cry all day, which caused the children to tease him even more. You're such a crybaby, no one's going to want to adopt you, they'd say. One day, the children from the orphanage were allowed to take a walk outside at a nearby park. While they were busy playing, Kevin ran away from them and sprinted towards the city cemetery without looking back. Kevin knew where his mom was buried. He promised he would visit her often. However, he hasn't been able to keep his promise as they were barely allowed out by the orphanage. When he saw his mother's grave, he sat there and cried. I miss you so much, mom. Please take me with you, he sobbed. There's nothing for me here. After a few moments, Kevin suddenly felt a hand on his shoulder. He wiped his eyes and looked back. There, a beautiful woman stood with rays of sunlight shining over her, which made her look like she was glowing. Why are you crying, sweet boy? Are you all right? She asked. I don't have a mother anymore. I miss her, Kevin replied sadly. I'm sorry to hear that, sweetheart. Where do you live now? The woman asked. In the orphanage, Kevin told her. I'm Susan, the woman said, sitting beside Kevin. I visit the cemetery to visit my son's grave, she revealed. Upon hearing her name, Kevin's eyes widened. He smiled and excitedly said, That's my mother's name too. The woman smiled and accompanied Kevin back to the orphanage. The woman spotted a small amusement park on the way back and asked if he wanted to go. Kevin nodded his head excitedly. Kevin happily rode on the carousel and ate ice cream with Susan. Susan took him back to the orphanage and said goodbye when they were done. Your mom loves you, sweetheart. Never doubt that, she said before leaving. That night, Susan prayed that Kevin would find a loving family. When she went to bed, she suddenly had a strange dream. In her dream, her late son Adam gave her a note with the address 443 Washington Street. Before waking up, her son told her, Mom, please take me with you. This dream occurred to Susan multiple times in a week. Bothered about what it could mean, Susan revealed everything to her husband. It's so strange, honey. I've dreamed about Adam handing me a note with a certain address. He keeps telling me to take him with me, she said. What could it mean? What is Adam trying to tell you? Her husband Richard asked. I don't know, but I've been having the same dream ever since I met this young boy named Kevin at the cemetery. He was visiting his mom and said he lived at the orphanage. So I took him there, explained Susan. Richard and Susan decided to visit the address from her dreams. True enough, 443 Washington Street could be found in their city. When they drove to the address, Susan was surprised to see the orphanage where she had walked with Kevin a couple of days prior. Immediately, Susan spotted Kevin sitting by the window on the ground floor. She pointed him out to her husband, saying that it was Kevin she had met in the cemetery. What are you doing there, sweetheart? Susan asked the young boy, who was thoughtfully looking up at the sky. I'm praying that my mother will take me from here, the young boy revealed. Susan and Richard looked at each other, and they immediately knew what they wanted. They decided to adopt Kevin and did everything they could to provide him with a happy life. Kevin was surprised that someone showed interest in adopting him. It made him even happier to find out that it was Susan and her husband, Richard, who wanted to do so. God answered my prayers, Kevin told Susan and Richard one day while having dinner. My mom did take me away from the orphanage, and now I'm here with my family, he smiled. God answered my prayers too, sweetheart. When I met you that day, I prayed that you'd find a loving family. I didn't know it then, but I'm glad that we ended up being your family. Thank you for giving us a chance, Kevin, she smiled, holding his hand. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video valuable and entertaining. 
If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and share it with your loved ones. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.